Welcome back. This is Breakfast at Dawn. Pakistan's fashion designers were busy making their mark on the global fashion scene this week. The effects of their work are both to our economy and to Pakistan's image in the world. Mahin Khan, Deepak Parvani and Rizwan Beg were taking part in Milan Fashion Week at the same time as President Zardari was making his first visit to Italy. Now, two of the fantastic trio who made us proud are here with me live in our Karachi studio, Mahin Khan and Deepak Parvani. Good morning and welcome Good to morning. Breakfast at Dawn. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for dragging yourselves out of bed. Very early morning too. <laughs> so I'm going to start with you, Mahin. This is, this is huge. This is, is a really yeah. big deal. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Pakistan going off and being part of Milan Fashion Week? What does it mean? You know, it, it, I, for, for the fashion industry, it's incredible because I think it's, uh, it'll open the, it'll open the, the paved the way for a lot of younger designers, uh, which is how it should be. Um, but in the end, it's a decision of the camera moda as who participates because portfolios are sent and they decide. I mean, there is a misnomer that, you know, why wasn't X and Y and Z going? But you can't do that with them. You know, Pakistani they're... fashion is, is fiercely political. <laughs> <laughs> More political than Pakistan. So, and actually, you know, I, we had sent, um, I sent about 11 or 12 portfolios. I can't quite remember because I sent it about... Two years ago? No, a year ago. A year About ago. a year ago. So it's a long, drawn process. So it's a very process. long process. And, you know, and then I forgot about it. I mean, because it's just so long, I thought, it won't And then they, uh, they chose uh, Nilafa Shahid, uh -huh. Rizwan, myself, and Deepak. Okay. Um, and I think it's I think it's fabulous. I think so, too. I think, I think it's know. fantastic. I think for it's fantastic for Pakistan's image, for Pakistan's economy for us, for the fashion industry, because to be in Milan is to be right there at the top to see the best fashion in the world. It's also a very progressive um, idea for the country because it's not that we will, we will end up there for the first time and not go there again. Mm -hmm. um, it's a repeated process. Milan, uh, you know, fashion can change minds and alter um, image and alter hearts and alter a lot of uh, perceptions that people have about Pakistan. And that is something that we managed to do. People really shocked. And the point is absolutely right. Sorry, I have to interrupt because this is exactly what India has done. They change their, Im they, they really change their image through fashion in Bollywood. That's correct. Absolutely, and their PR Where is you fabulous. Look. It is. It is the way they Sorry, project ahead, themselves. Sir. It's really and, un and unbelievable. Yeah, and their PR is totally coming from not showing the poverty, not showing the, the ethnic violence. Which is why they're so upset when there's some dog there, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was. It was just a really, really positive approach that I think Pakistan um, has taken to get us to Milan Fashion Week. Yeah, I, w I wanted to ask about that. It, there's been some government support for oh, you. Huge. Without them, we couldn't have done it. Yeah. And I think that both of us... Uh, we have like to. I mean, we, thank, uh, if, the, if the Pakistani ambassador, uh, Tasneem uh, Aslam, um, uh, Hina Rabani Khar, um, uh, Mohibullah so, Shah, a so lot Sarban of people. Ghani and Ambassador Zia Aswani, whose, uh, whose idea it all was, was through him, and then through Ambassador Tasneem Aslam, and then it went up. But... Uh, it was a great team effort. But why do you think that is that the Pakistan government would want to push Pakistani fashion on into the forefront to change the image? Do you think I didn't think they thought about it like that, but I think it just started with this idea, uh -huh. uh, and 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 this it grew, and then uh, it became bigger, it and they also realized the potential of it. Right. You know, um, anything that is projected from a country, whether it's music, art, cinema, fashion, defines what their country is going through from through that uh, country is going through at that point in time or that century. Clothes define what you are and clothes define the kind of times that we live in. And uh, it was just the right moment for Pakistan to do that. After all, we are going through a democratic process at, at this point in time. It was also perfectly timed because President Zadari was also there for a visit. And we were there projecting a completely different side of Pakistan. Yes. Which the Italians don't know. I think nobody knows. Right. Mm. You know, so far we've done smaller fashion weeks. We've done small um, private shows at, at residences and, and, and ambassadors houses and stuff like that at Pakistan embassies all over the world we've never done a mainstream yeah. fashion event which can put Pakistan on the map mm -hmm. and all of a sudden tuck you know you've got new Reuters and uh, AP and all these billions of it was incredible I mean you, know, you saw them I mean the, the the room was packed we got a standing ovation 
Uh, it was incredible. just amazing. Yeah. And the photographers, I mean, there were like hundreds of them. It was just incredible. And I saw that, I peeped out, I saw these lines of people with laptops, and they were uploading their pictures. Right there and then? Right there and then. Within minutes, the world saw the pictures. Speaking of pictures, we're going to be showing you pictures as well in just a few moments. They are going to be coming up, pictures uh, on the screen from uh, Milan Fashion Week with, with your clothes. But there. what I would <laughs> like to stress and really like your audience to hear that there is fashion so far in Pakistan is all about glamour and red carpet and beauty but that is not what fashion is all about fashion is an industry it should be treated as one what we saw in Milan was fashion treated as industry it was a trade show there was no frills right it's it's about business it's the business it's, of it's, fashion. A business. it's about Absolutely. business right and do you think that you're you're going to be well, with Karachi Mark Fashion and Week? I think that you know, we'll make. I think in in Milan it takes you. You have to go four years or three years whether they get confidence in you, whether they see whether you can sustain what you've presented. Right, it, that is a norm. But we are starting Fashion Week in uh, in we're, Karachi. We're showing and that's pictures now uh, on on your screen from uh, from Milan Fashion Week. Well, I'd love to see. I haven't yeah. seen them myself. They're they're fabulous Yay, my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> fabulous clothes, but. Um, Oh, you know, Mahin, you were the Coco Chanel of the East, as I understand <laughs> I just it. Of the <laughs> you know, he was showing me the press, the reviews uh, yesterday, and you, incredible, you were welcomed so well and reviewed so well, huh? You were doing, uh, I, I was actually quite amazed because I, I couldn't, I don't know, really, he read Italian. What do you do? You translated it into English? I am just better languages than you. Oh, oh it was me <laughs> and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she pointed out <laughs> Coco <laughs> Chanel Oriental. Oriental. <laughs> Coco Chanel of the uh, East, and there was uh, the bad boy of Pakistani fashion. Poor fellow, he can't even. <laughs> 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 I'm just like not with a bad boy. I'm a bad man now. I'm a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind too much. <laughs> but you know, honestly, the I give it for me. The the one emotion that I felt right to, I felt so proud to be a Pakistani. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that was that's so wonderful, and I and I have to say that uh, uh, for the first time we have visionaries sitting in the government. Yeah, we have people who realize the importance of what a cultural activity or promotion of fashion of media or art can do. And I hope this is an ongoing process because after all, you in Italy and Italy is so full of art and craft and culture and everything, and to be coming from a you know a six thousand year old history or background which is Pakistan civilization. Um, we needed to show something or the other. Yeah, that, yeah. that we don't all yeah. uh, wear those chalvas that are above the ankle and crocheted prayer yeah. hats. There's a little yeah. bit more Absolutely. to this and country. You know, honestly, all of them. And, and, you know, and, and you know, I don't know whether we thank Mr. Mohibullah Shah because he was the one. He, he was, was monumental. He was yeah. monumental. Yeah. I mean, he was pivotal to, pivotal to all this. And it's fabulous because, you know, they, they normally uh, sponsor little shows, little private shows in there, which I think now should stop. Right, and and and, and a little focus should happen into right. where the where it, the on, cash on is going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well spent sure. because the country got a PR image or uh, exercise already. Okay, right. Let's let's talk more about this, but let's do that right after a very quick break. We have Mine Khan and Deepak Parwani here in the studios. Do stay with us as we continue our chat with them.